to show you how to hack a tea light so you can try making your own simple circuit with an LED and a coin cell battery. I happen to have another one. So here is this regular old tea light you can get from the dollar store or um, somewhere like Walmart. And maybe you have some. Mine already lost its battery back. But these always come with a coin cell battery. What we're going to do is find the LED inside. So let me check this battery real quick. This is an old tea light. Looks like it's working, so that's good. All right, so inside, I actually already have a switch, and I can see one leg of my LED is right here, and the other leg of my LED is right there. And I've gotta be careful, because I don't want that to break. And these are pretty soft. I've got these needle nose pliers. I'm gonna try to bend this up so that it's straight, and then let's see if we can hack this plastic and get inside of here and still be able to have this switch. So, whoa, that was easy. I think I just hit the easy button. So there's my LED. So you can see that's where it was diffused in there. And here is the LED right here on this little guy. And we gotta free it. So we need this leg and we need that leg. And look at that, I got an LED. So the long leg is the positive leg, and the short leg should be the negative leg. Although they could be switched because it might have broken off just now. So I can just test it. There we go. That light actually does work. It's pretty weak, but we're going to now, we can make a simple circuit. So this uh, LED, the, the little guy was cracked, but we could see also how the switch worked. So basically, when it came over this way, it pushed that LED leg down onto the battery to make it work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this conductive aluminum foil, which is your everyday kitchen foil, and we're going to make it into a little circuit. I'm gonna make a little design of what I want. I'm gonna have my battery here, and this will be my plus side, and this will be my negative side, so I might even draw a little circle around here just to kind of give me an idea and then this is going to be my plus side so this is going to be one foil track to light up the longer leg of the led um, but again i'm going to test it in case it's not longer this time and then this is going to be my negative track do, 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 do. and then i'm going to put foil here and here and i'll put my battery there and sandwich it just like my friends over at chibitronics so i'm going to cut this foil to be my own spot and I'm gonna use this glue stick whoop, whoop, to use right here so there's my foil I'm gonna be careful when I fold it and this is pretty thick <gasps> ah! I tore it all right so this is kind of interesting glue stick while it's wet will be conductive but once it dries, I'm not sure it will still be conducted, but hopefully this will be enough. Now, right now, this is way too close for my negative. It'll probably short out, so I may have to move my negative over just a tiny hair so that that's going to reach the top. That's important. And then we're going to have to do the bottom right here. So let's cut another piece of foil. Mm -hmm. And woo! We'll use our glue stick. And make sure these two do not touch because once they touch, the light won't go through the LED. It'll just go straight through and complete the circuit without ever touching the LED. And we want it to do that. So we gotta be careful, they can't touch here either. So now I've got my, I'm gonna use this coin so better. I got a new one out just so it'd be nice and fresh. And I'm gonna use a little binder clip to hold it together. So I'm extending the electricity so I can make my circuit just a little bit bigger. This is just how Makey Makey works. Oh, this is my one. Now let's see, should be the longer leg, but my LED is broken, so let's see. Oh, I might have it backwards. There it goes. It actually is 
lighting up. So just in case you can't see, I'll use my bigger one. Again, it should be the longer leg, but you may just have to switch back and forth because if your leg breaks while you pull it out of that tea light, that'll make a difference. Woo! There you go. Nice and lit up. And I just lost half of this LED leg. Now if I want this to stay, I could use some regular tape on top because regular tape is not conductive. That will hold it on there. And make my connection a little better. So those of you can kind of notice it's going in and out. That's kind of a fun thing about paper circuits. Is you got to do a little tinkering to get them to work. There you go. There's how to make an LED light up with some uh, this a tea light LED. Hack it out. Get your battery and your LED that you need. Now yours won't flash like this unless you have a flashing tea light. So look around your house to see if you can find a tea light to hack and make your own simple circuit at home.